So we're gonna see if we can't head down to the East Beach just to check it out, see if the ice is all piled up on the shore there as well. Uh, but we gotta get across the icy road here. Uh, we tried doing this the other night in the dark and felt that it was way unsafe wearing dark clothes to try and do this, but. The wind's whipping pretty good. We got down to the beach here, but it's pretty dang cold this morning. We're going towards this afternoon, although we slept pretty late. It's kind of hard not to sleep late when it doesn't get light until 11 o'clock. Your body's natural inclination is to continue to sleep until it gets light out. And so you end up sleeping until 10 o'clock. It looks like there's a fine layer of ice on most of the rocks down there. Um, and that water, that air coming off the water was like So we're gonna turn back and go the other direction and maybe wander through town. We'll get a little uh, a little reprieve from the wind out here. Just whipped across the tundra out here pretty pretty good and my hands are are starting to get hold holding the phone. So we're heading back to the house to get cleats and I'm gonna put on a different hat to cover my ears and that has kind of the fur. Like, kind of like her hood does. Uh, keeps the wind out of the face a little bit more. Because it's windy and that wind is the, what's really cold. Um, you get where the houses block the wind and it's not too bad. But if you're not there, it's, it's bad. So now we're just going to take you around town. See what we see. Um, it's not a big town, so we're, we have to like kind of go back and forth up and down the streets to get miles. We got our friendly neighborhood ravens picking at the snow pile. They are nice sized birds. You know, they land on the house and then you hear them walking around on the roof. And they're all over town. I mean, they're everywhere. Mr. Raven. Raven too, huh? They're usually really talkative. I don't know why these guys aren't. <laughs> Maybe they'll talk. Want to tell you something? No. I try that again. Yes, I'm now wearing a hood and a different hat, but it's got fuzzies on the side, so it'll be more. Uh, more windproof. Or put on our cleats, which work really well. I can't tell you. <laughs> put on our cleats, which work really well when the uh, road is really icy and uh, snow is packed down really tight. So it has become snow machine central here. Uh, we got, I don't know, maybe eight inches of snow. The last snowfall, maybe a little bit more. And that's all you see. Yeah, nice stop. Guy didn't even stop at the lake here. <laughs> so that's all you see is snow machines everywhere. Uh, cruising around town like that guy um, and they buzz when they go by man they're cruising um, they don't usually go that slow so when they you can hear them at night buzzing up and down the roads yeah or I had a great point uh, the stoplight up here is the only one in town we are a one stoplight town and it just blinks red all the time um, it's right by a school, so I think that's why it's why it's here. Um, but yeah, the, the elementary school is right over here. Uh, it also has lights. Those lights that are on it are like Klieg lights. They are on all night long, and they light up the entire area. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see the Aurora when those are on all night. But um, and then the hospital is in the background there. Oh. This is where you have to come to get your COVID test. You go in one door, fill out the paperwork, come back out and go in the other door and get your swab. I've had four tests since COVID started. One in the cities, one at the airport in Anchorage, which I had to pay 250 bucks for, and I never even got the results. One when I landed in Nome, and then one when we found we had been contact traced. Uh, we had to go down and get it. How many have you had now because of work and I stuff? I have to have them every two weeks. So you've had how many? The math turns out to be six, six seven six months ago. No, oh, so like a dozen. Like a dozen tests, so you have to do it every two weeks. So she's been in 
she's been on those. She's been in there a lot. Uh, well, or there at the hospital when it was back in the hospital. They moved it out of the tent by the hospital um, when it got cold out. Wandering, we're out by the hospital, and we noticed in the distance the mountains are just lit up by the sun on them out there uh, between this building and the mountains or in the hospital we stop or we're going to take some nice pictures we'll put those at the end of the video uh but we thought we'd get a quick video of this while she takes some pictures here whoa close up while she takes some pictures here anyways this is greg what is it Kruchek? Kruchek road um, this runs the entire length of the town. It's basically like a bypass around Nome uh, from the Council Nome Highway to Nome Teller Highway. Um, and it runs all the way out towards the grocery store, or one of the grocery stores. Um, and so, yeah, it's kind of a neat little drag. It's kind of a, a good way to get around most of the traffic through town and that kind of thing. mountains are out there just the tip of the sun the sun's already going down it's I don't know what time but the sun didn't come up very high and it won't um, until <laughs> what, February March then it'll start to come back up down to the sea. There's another thing about snow machining up here, uh, or in here in Minnesota, snowmobiling. Uh, there are no fences out in the, the tundra, like none. And there are no rules against where you can go, basically. Uh, so people go everywhere. I mean, they can just go wherever they want. Like this guy towing his kids around. Um, that's just kind of what I understand is you is just, you can just go for miles and go and go and go it's like 3 30 and the Sun is actually going down ish I think four o'clock is sundown uh, or sunset so we're gonna head back get something to eat uh, and call this walk uh, an end an end to this walk uh, we'll probably have three miles on by the time we're done, so trying to get some exercise, and this is one way to do it. Just walk around town, show you guys what's going on. All right, so yeah.